What is up YouTube? Uh, Burnley Snick here today with a um, little video, uh, a bit uh, form related. Uh, yeah, um, if you uh, ever find a phone in your house or whatever and you thought it were lost, um, I don't know, you've upgraded and then you want to give the phone away um, and you've possibly like reset it and then you forgot the uh, associated Google account, then um, this is a video just to show you how to get past that really, it's quick, easy, um, there is uh, some like bad implementations that this can be used for so um, I'm not taking any responsibility uh, for if your phone gets nicked or stolen whatever um, and then somebody manages to use it, uh, as I say it's just this is just really informational purposes and uh, just to help people who may have lost the passwords but it's like all good things, uh, there's always a downside to it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, make what you want with it. Um, the video is just purely for informational purposes and it's just to expose a massive gaping hole in these very expensive phones. So ultimately, if you've got a problem with it, then I suppose go and buy an iPhone and then this won't happen. But yeah, uh, I'll crack on. Right, uh, if you've ever noticed, um, once you reset the phone, You've got to put in the Google reset thing um, because it's got an account, it's basically bricked. So um, what we need to do is you need to go to your PC uh, and you need to download an app called SideSync. It's uh, an official Samsung app. So yeah, you can just download that to your PC. Um, and then I also recommend having Samsung keys, get that installed as well. Uh, then you've got all the different drivers and stuff uh, for what you need for your Samsung phones. So once you've got that installed onto your PC, um, you want to you want to plug the phone uh, into the PC with USB cable. So you want to use one of these micro USB, whatever they're called. Uh, and then yeah, just go ahead and plug that into the phone. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Um, as soon as the Cables plugged in, it gives you the options to go onto the internet. So you want to, uh, you just want to click on the Chrome, and just put it as always. Okay. Um, now it'll give you the Galaxy apps. Just press OK. Ignore the side sync that comes up. Uh, just go to the search bar there. Search and in install ES File Explorer. This is imperative that you do this. Uh, so yeah, you want to do that straight away. So I've already got it installed, so we don't need to use that, but we'll in, we will open the app up. So the phone's up, we've already got access to the phone now, um, once it's been, once it's in the uh, Google factory reset protection mode. Um, so what we do from here is, uh, you need to go to um, a web address uh, through ES File Explorer. Uh, if you just bear with me, I'll get the address up on my PC screen. Um, it will be in the uh, description, everything that you need. Um, the address is HTTPS, uh, the two dots, two forward slashes, www.androidfilehost.com, um, forward slash question mark. Uh, Foxtrot Indigo Delta equals two four double six double five four two five eight five four eight three six seven six, um, and then you want to add that in ES File Explorer. Um, I've already got it added uh, into my directory already. It's under uh, File, so I'll just click on that, and then that will take you to the web address that I've just given you um, as I say it will be in the description and the internet seems to be a bit laggy um, it's just being a bit slow at the moment if you just bear with me I just had to adjust the position of the router because, um, yeah, it's a bit crap. But no, it'll take you to this page here. Uh, and then this will allow you to download the app that we need. So 
you want to go ahead, uh, tap the begin download, and then it'll present you with a mirror. So yeah, just go ahead, download that. Um, once you've downloaded that, you want to just press back, and then go and find the app, Root Junker, click on that, and install. Um, if it comes up with this, uh, as you'll know with messing around with stuff like this, you just install, uh, just allow unknown applications to be installed, and then just install the app. And then open the app. And now it'll present you with this, which now the phone is unlocked again. Um, all we do from here is we just tap on tap on this, browser sign in, and then just go to OK. And from here we can just add any Google account. So I'll uh, I'll just add my Google account, uh, well a different one to what's associated with the phone. Now, now I've added my uh, Google account. Um, it'll, it's gone through. So what we do is from here, we just power down the phone. Just restart the phone, and then instantly you'll notice that there's a different, um, a different screen that comes up. Um, we just go through the rigmarole. Um, from here, just disconnect the phone from the PC because otherwise it will keep trying to bypass stuff. And then, as you go, it says their account added. Just click next. Protect your phone. Skip. Skip that. Skip. Next. And then you just change the name of the phone. So Galaxy or whatever. Alright, done, finish. And there we go. So thanks for watching my video. Um don't get into trouble. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh don't forget to drop a like, leave a thumbs up, uh send me a comment, a bit of feed feedback and Tell me what you think, but yeah, overall, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you again. Goodbye.